What's up guys, Connor and Barnes 4 Drive here. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to take apart an enduro joint and then reassemble it. And then I'm going to show you how to do it uh, the way that you're probably going to be doing it if you ever have to do it. Um, just I'm going to show you how to do it on my truck bed um, with our rebuild tool, with a ratchet and a wrench. Um, we put them together when we assemble them, we put them together with a press and kind of some you know fancier things um, you know to make it a lot quicker but um, I know that's not going to be the case for most of you so I'm going to show you how to do it with a ratchet wrench simple on a truck bed so let's get into it okay first things first let's go over the tools that you're going to need obviously you've got your enduro joint um, that's pretty apparent there Second, you're going to have our rebuild tool here. So what our rebuild tool comes with is a grade 8 bolt and nut to go through the bore of this enduro joint. Um, then you're going to have these washers that we cut here in-house. Um, one of them is going to have a flat bottom, as you can see if the camera would focus there. Uh, and then another one is just going to be like perfectly circular. Um, and then you're going to have two grade 8 washers as well. Then you're going to need a ratchet that fits the end of this bolt and then a wrench that fits this nut um, and then snap ring pliers as well to get this snap ring out um, and you may need a hammer and some sort of socket um, and I'll show you why you might need those in a second um, but yeah so I'm going to show you how this rebuild tool goes together and how it goes on this uh, joint here all right so this is how the rebuild tool goes together so there's the snap ring side, and I just call this the body side. Um, the body side, you're going to put your bolt through the joint, obviously. You're going to have a grade 8 washer, and then you're going to have the circular thick washer on the body side. Over here, same thing. You're going to have the thick washer with the flat bottom, so you can get that snap ring out. And then you're going to have a grade 8 washer and a grade 8 nut to compress this joint, and then to be able to get that snap ring out. So. A big key thing and a big reason we started giving these big thick washers that you know are almost as big as the joint is that people would just like get these uh, rebuild kits and then they'd put an impact on this and just give it the beans you don't want to do that because what's going to happen is is you're going to cup this stainless steel washer behind the snap ring and then when you go to reassemble it that cupped washer is going to be pulling out the snap ring and you're going to constantly be you know popping snap rings out or it's going to wear your joints out quicker or excuse me your bushings out quicker and we've seen that a lot so that's why i wanted to make this video to show it to tell you you just want to get this tight enough to get that snap ring out no tighter than that you want to get that snap ring out and then that's it you don't want to go any tighter so i mean honestly with the ratchet and the wrench i typically only give it about three good turns you know like crank 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 boom it's probably good enough so ratchet it a little bit check it see if it's tight enough to get it out there you know if not go a little bit more but you only want it tight enough to get that snap ring out okay so we got in our joint got our ratchet here we're going to tighten this up a lot of times you can do this without even using the wrench you just kind of got to get the, the wrench to get it started but I'll show you regardless. So, like I said, about three good cranks. This is probably good to go. And like I said, you want that flat part of this thick washer to be where your snap ring opening is. Because now, you're gonna take your snap ring pliers, you're gonna insert them in here, and you're gonna get this snap ring out of here. And as you can see, when I squeeze this, there she goes. That's all. That's as tight as I want to get this nut, just to get this out. And then once you get that out, you can loosen it up. And then boom, take your nut off, take your tool out. And the first thing that you're going to notice comes off is this stainless steel washer. So we cut these in house, um, and you do not want to bend this. As you can see, it's still nice and flat. 
I didn't cup it when I was getting it out of there. If you take that nut and you just tighten that as tight as you can, it will cup this. You do not want that to happen. That's why we sold these guys again, so it presses nice, even pressure on that washer. So that's going to come out. Typically, you just give her a couple good taps on this side with your hand or something to get these poly bushings out here. So a poly bushing is going to come out. The ball of the joint is going to come out. And then there's another bushing in there. And the reason that I told you you might want this hammer and this socket is to get this last bu bushing out because sometimes they're kind of a pain to get out. So a lot of times I'll just take like a socket that isn't touching the body. It's just touching the poly bushing in there. And just give her a couple little taps. That one was in there. And then boom, she's out. So that's why I said you might need a hammer to uh, get that going. But yeah. Now you've got an empty joint and you're ready to rebuild it. So when you're ready to rebuild your joint, um, first thing you're going to do is take a poly bushing. If you have grease, take some and just rub it kind of just a nice little light film layer here where that uh, ball is going to sit in it. Um, that's always good to do if you're on a trail and you don't have it, you know, it's not going to be the end of the world. Just do it when you get home. Um, so. You've got the joint here. This poly bushing is going to have a flat side and a tooth side, like a side of teeth on it. And you're going to take the flat side and put it into the joint. Press it all the way down to the bottom until it's down there in the bottom of it. And you're going to take your ball. You're going to put the ball, sit it in the little, the little cup in that poly bushing. And then you're going to take this bushing. And you'll notice it has teeth on it as well. You want these teeth to alternate. So you want the other poly bushing's teeth to fall in between this one's teeth. So you're going to put that in there. And you'll know pretty much immediately if you got it lined up good. Because um, it won't go all the way in. But you should be able to push it all the way into where there's a little lip in between here. And you're going to take your stainless steel washer. Pop that guy on there. And the next thing that goes on is your snap ring. But, you know, obviously we have to tighten this joint down first. So then we're going to put our uh, rebuild tool back in here, and then we're going to tighten it down and get that snap ring in. So once you've got your rebuild tool in your joint, you're going to want to tighten it down. Make sure the joint is as neutral as it can be. You don't want it to be articulated up or down or anything. It's going to make it hard to get that snap ring in there. So um, go ahead and tighten her down. Grab my wrench here. And again, same story. You do not want to tighten this too much. Got about three, three good pulls in on that. And I'm going to take my snap ring pliers. I'm going to pop that snap ring in there. And boom, there you go. After you get the snap ring in, loosen up your tool. Take all your tool out, and then you're going to want to visually inspect your snap ring. Make sure that it is fully in the groove all the way around 100%. If it is not, it will pop out. There's no, no chance of it staying in there if it's not all the way in. So a good practice that I like to do is just take your snap ring pliers and just push on the groove, or excuse me, on the snap ring all the way around. And then, you know, just kind of give her a good once over. But after that, once you're ensured that the snap ring is in, you're good to go. Your joint is rebuilt. You're ready to get back wheeling. So, just wanted to make that quick video. Um, make sure you guys know exactly how to take these apart. Um, and again, if you didn't get to grease this on the trail, just give her a shot of grease when you get back to the house or something. So, that's how to rebuild an endural joint. If you got any questions, leave them below. Thanks, guys.